वेलकम टू मनी कंट्रोल द वीक दैट वॉज वॉच अ क्विक रीक एप ऑफ द वीक्स मेजर न्यूज स्टोरीज अक्रॉस बिजनेस स्पोर्ट्स पॉलिटिक्स एंड मोर हेयर Prime Minister Narendra Modi tore into the Congress and its MP Rahul Gandhi without naming him during his over 2 hour long address in the Lok Sabha on July 2nd saying the opposition party had misread the general election verdict and termed him balak buddhi This came a day after Gandhi's fiery speech directed at Modi in parliament The PM also lambasted the Congress leader over his remarks saying that the insult of Hindus will not be forgotten for centuries A satsang by a local preacher on Tuesday turned into a site of tragedy as 121 people, mostly women, were killed in a stampede. The event in Fulrai village was addressed by self-styled godman Narayan Sakar Hari, also known as Bhole Baba. UP police has arrested six satsang organizers. Meanwhile, Yogi Adityanath has ordered a judicial probe into the incident. Hemant Soren was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Jharkhand at the Raj Bhavan in Ranchi on 4th of July. He took the oath in the presence of Governor Radha Krishnan. After spending around 5 months in jail in a money laundering case, Hemant Soren was released from jail on June 28th. World champions reached India after being stuck for 2 days in Barbados due to Hurricane Beryl. A huge reception awaited India at Mumbai for the victory parade at the Van Khede Stadium, the same place where they won their last World Cup back in 2011. Marine drivers flocked with fans to welcome the team and there was a rousing reception for the title winners. Upon arrival in Delhi, they were first welcomed with dhols and bhangra, then PM Modi also hosted them at his residence and had a long chat with them. Defending champion Neera Chopra will headline a 28 member Indian athletics contingent at the Paris Olympics starting July 26th. The squad comprises 17 men and 11 women athletes with some of the other prominent names being Asian Games champions Avinash Sable, Tejinder Pal Singh Tour along with sprint hurdler Jyoti Yaraji. Tokyo Games gold medalist Chopra has decided to skip the last Diamond League this weekend in Paris in order to prepare for the Olympics. The UK's opposition Labour Party won a huge parliamentary majority in the country's general election, unseating the incumbent Conservatives after 14 years. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak conceded defeat and later exited Downing Street and resigned as the Conservative Party leader. Labour leader Keir Starmer officially became Britain's Prime Minister after an audience with King Charles III at Buckingham Palace. The S&P BSE Sensex scaled the mark of 80,000 on Wednesday for the first time, marking yet another landmark for the index that has made new records multiple times already this year. The last 10,000 points were added by the Sensex in under 7 months. It had first hit the mark of 70,000 on December 11, 2023. Mahindra and Mahindra is the top performer on the Sensex during this period, as has been the case with the Nifty 50 as well. Hindenburg research alleged that SEBI pressured brokers to close their short positions in Adani Group stocks under the threat of a regulatory probe. The research firm in an update on July 2nd also said that Kotak Mahindra Bank created and oversaw the offshore fund structure used by the investor partner of US based Hindenburg to short Adani stocks. The US based short seller questioned why SEBI failed to name Kotak Bank in its observations. Hindenburg alleged that SEBI's omission of Kotak's name may be meant to protect the businessman from scrutiny. The latest developments following closely on the heels of the Indian regulator issuing a show cause notice to Hindenburg alleging various violations and wrongdoings. Bajaj Auto launched the world's first CNG motorcycle Freedom 125 at a starting price of rupees 95000. The bike will be available in Maharashtra in the first phase. The new model across its official dealerships as well as through the online medium. Bajaj Freedom 125 is equipped with a twin tank setup, one for petrol and the other for CNG. The company revealed that the new model has flexible fuel options, featuring two separate switches for petrol as well as CNG. Bollywood celebrities, cricketers, industrialists and Hollywood stars like Justin Bieber attended the Sangeet ceremony of Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant. Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant is all set to be wed on July 12th in Mumbai, following their lavish pre-wedding celebrations in Jamnagar and a star-studded cruise event earlier. The pre-wedding rituals commenced with a Mameru ceremony on July 4th. <laughs> 